Hi, uh, welcome to Astro Journey UK. Uh, it's been a bit of a while. Um, I haven't done a video for quite some time now, but uh, the skies are clear tonight, and uh, so I thought I'd get the scope out and uh, do some imaging. So if you want to see what I've captured, then uh, stay tuned and uh, we'll see what we get. So the uh, skies are clear and uh, yeah, decided to get my scope out. Uh, basically what I'm going to be doing tonight is imaging the uh, bubble nebula and the lobster claw nebula and there's also a star cluster nearby as well. So I've uh, framed that up using um, a, sky a sky guide and uh, yep, thought I'd get everything out. Uh, you can see here in the background is my, um, my scope set up uh, on the mount ready to go and uh, let me just walk through uh, my setup and uh, talk through what I'm going to be doing later on tonight. So here you can see the uh, the main scope. It's the uh, William Optics Red Cat 51 uh, telescope. So it's a 250 millimeter focal length um, refractor telescope. Uh, I've got the ZWO guide scope sort of mounted on the top here. Um, it's a 30 millimeter uh, guide scope. Um, in terms of uh, keeping any kind of dew at bay, um, I'm using these um, these dew heaters. They're just USB powered, um, and they go into a, a USB charging slot down on the extension lead there. Um, the bit doing all of the work, um, imaging and also guiding, is this uh, ASI Air Plus. Uh, sadly, though, um, managed to get a bit of damage on the antenna, so I need to replace that. Uh, but everything still works okay, so that's cool. At the back here doing the uh, main imaging is the ZWO ASI 183MC Pro, so that's a one-shot colour camera. Uh, fitted here uh, an extra dew um, heater for the, for the sensor or the glass in front of the sensor because I was getting some dew uh, forming on here, which is a little bit annoying. So you have to cool the camera down and cool the sensor down so that you reduce the noise and sometimes it produces some dew on the front element. So that, that's fix, fixed all of that. You'll see here that there's a um, yeah, cable coming there to power that, uh, just going into the ASI Air um, into here. I've got a single filter in here, so there's a filter drawer in here and that's got the Optolong L-Extreme which is a sort of two-pass narrowband filter for HA and O3. Um, so that's the what I'm going to be capturing the uh, the nebulas with tonight. And uh, finally, uh, the mount, which is the Skywatcher EQ6R Pro mount, um, using the USB for uh, controlling the scope and controlling guiding and things like that. And the power adapter there that goes straight into the ASI Air Plus. So that's my setup. Um, all I need to do now is just wait for some clear skies. So I mentioned earlier on in terms of um, image planning, uh, the app that I use is uh, Sky Guide, which is a fantastic app, uh, only on iOS and iPad OS, I'm afraid. Um, for those of you that have got uh, Android phones, um, you have to use things like Sky Safari, I think, but uh, the, the detail that you get um, in this app is is by far greater than any other um, sort of astronomy tool. Um, it's got great images of the Milky Way, um, so you can help sort of plan things properly and also finding things. So uh, this is a part of the sky, hopefully I've found it, is um, the Lobster Claw Nebula, and you've got the Bubble Nebula, and also Cassiopeia's Salt and Pepper Star Cluster. Um, I quite like the um, this composition and that's what I'm going for. Um, so one feature that I hadn't realised existed um, was this uh, astronomy um, tool that's in the menu. So if you go down to, you have to have the pro subscription, um, tap on fields of view, um, select astrophotography and then you can select your, um, your cameras, you obviously have to, um, when you add a camera, um, you can search for one, uh, so ZWO, all of the cameras are in there. Um, select that, you can also create custom cameras as well. 
and also uh, your optics. So from a, a telescope perspective, you just put these in. Again, you can search for them too. And it creates you uh, the, the, the field of view so that you can help plan your um, imaging sessions, which I think is a really nice feature. Really miss this compared to um, uh, tools like Sky Safari and um, Selenium and things like that. Stellarium, not Selenium. Um, so yeah, this was felt like it was really missing. It might have been there for ages and I've never noticed, but uh, yeah, I find this is a really, really nice feature.